And here we go! Welcome, Collective, to another great episode of Brews and Builds. And this episode could not have been done except by our amazing patrons. Whether you're part of the Collective, Squeeze Choir, Big Tux, Mr. Combo, Storm Count, it doesn't matter. We love you guys, and thank you for the support. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to episode 124 of CMD oh, Towers Brews and Builds. Oh. I'm Mr. Combat number 5 okay. and my fellow host <laughs> will most likely have multiple violent outbursts by the end of the episode, <laughs> Big Tuck. I thought there's another one that I thought you were going to go with that I was going to be talking about later, so I'm glad I'm waiting on that. Well guys, we wouldn't be able to do this episode without our amazing patron community. Patreon.com slash CMD Tower. Um, you know, we have been retooling some of the tiers. Uh, we're actually uh, going to be piloting being on Twitch later this month. So we've actually shifted because it seems like you guys want more content opposed to gimmicky things. So we've actually discontinued the RK post token reward. And now we're going to shift those funds over to hopefully enhance that Twitch experience, uh, the YouTube gameplay experience. Even Tuck and I were texting about this. Maybe taking little clips from the uh, the gameplay. Oh yeah, and what what was some of the uh, ideas that we threw around? Uh, what well, there was like uh, blast of the match. Uh, you've been yep. blasted was one. There was um, oh, you know what you should do? We should create one that's uh, that was dripping for like oh sweat, yeah yeah it's funny. <laughs> or wasn't there one that was like there's something there's some like play of the game that was like that right or like yeah massive screw ups those sort of things. Yeah, so I think we'll, the, so we'll be coming out with lots of shorts like that, uh, based out of those gameplays. So you know, this money will kind of help go to fund that. But seriously, we love our patrons. Uh, from a dollar a month up to twenty five bucks a month, we have four different tiers. Uh, go on there, pick the one that you're comfortable with, and definitely if it's like, hey, you know, I can only afford to be in the Discord and get some of the soft value stuff. But hey, you got a new job, you can go in, increase it to the five, the fifteen, or the twenty five. Get more swag, support the team more. And have opportunities to actually be on the channel. It's pretty exciting stuff. And we have a great referral program. So if you're already a member, refer your friends, your frenemies, your collective, and make sure they message us on Patreon when they join. And just let us know which collective member did it. And we're going to be sending you something for free in the mail. And the best one that we came up with, this is a Mr. Combo, hot soup, more like heart garbage. Yes. Now. Of course, if you guys want to get our amazing swag, you've probably seen our foil playmats on streams, head over to cmdtower.com slash merch. We do have our holiday Jun sweater on there. We do have our amazing foil playmats, our sleeves, our tokens, our coins, the whole kit and caboodle. You should go check it out. There's redacted bits that contractually obligated. We are not allowed <laughs> to speak to. But of course, the free way to share the content you're watching and listening to is just do that because every little bit of interaction from the collective does help. Now, we do have a very, very exciting partnership uh, that we're kind of looking into and testing out. Uh, you've heard myself and others talk about these amazing playtest cards that we've used in the past, especially the Bruise and Builds Game of Thrones episode. I think that was lost episode number one from uh, uh, January 2021, if I believe that's correct. Yeah, I think that's right. And they wanted to extend an exclusive stackable discount to our community. So head over to abysscardshop.com and use the code CMD Tower. And I believe he offers 10% off whenever you use CMD Tower, but he also offers 10% off whenever you spend 30 or more dollars. So that's like 20% off or some other more accurate fraction that I'm not smart <laughs> enough to do on the fly. Uh, and whenever you do, not only you're getting a high quality playtest card, but you're also supporting our channel. Um, and, and that really is going to go a long way. So if you already own a copy of a card, if you're trying to figure out if a deck will work before you spend the money, go spend $3, $4 and get a card and use your discount. Support the community. Support CMD Tower. So Bruce and Builds is our deck tech series. Since we conquered the path to 32, the 12 themes of EDH decks, we've moved on to a classic brew from day one brews and builds with a traditional episode and we described the brewing of decks similar to how beer is brewed so we broke it down into four different categories 
How does your board interact with all of your opponents, hands, board states, and general accoutrement? We call that hops. Uh, uh, accoutrement? Uh, hops give the beer its patented bitterness and herbal floral flavors. They grow in a variety of strands and help to sing of subcategories like this Hosi Bebe double triple IPA. Bebe! Bebe! It's a, baby. it's a baby. Uh, our hop show is all clear and interact with the board, so your deck can ultimately do it at once. So without further ado, let's get brewing. So today, guys, it's a deck that has been, uh, let's just say shelved. The scourge of bruising and builds. <laughs> uh, we've put it off for three and a half years. To Big Tuck's dismay, it's here. We're talking about Animar's glass cannon. Uh, but Tuck, why don't you read who Animar is sure. and does? Uh, Animar Soul of the Elements is one of the original uh, arch enemy style decks. Uh, this used to be, and still can very well be, kind of a big boy of the community. Four teamer, that's blue, red, and a green. It's a 1-1 one, one legendary creature elemental that's a mythic for about six bucks uh, for the foily copy at that. It's got protection from white and from black. And then whenever you cast a creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Animar Soul of the Elements. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast for each plus one plus one counter on Animar. Let's go ahead and head over to the board state and hot profile and Big Tuck. Man, um, I have a feeling we're going to be matching. Uh, <laughs> the, this, just... this was a very heavy grain. And similar to this beer I just finished, it's a very heavy grain deck. Yep. Uh, and not a whole lot of hops, yeast, and X, Y, and Zs. So what's your first hop card? Okay. It's an enchantment. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. Are you, are you ready? Three. I am. Two, one, asceticism. Three colorless double green for an enchantment. Uh, that's a rare for 11 bucks. And since this was my pick, I will go ahead and give the new voice provided by our old pal, Chuck the Slice. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let my enemy build walls thicker than iron and stronger than dark steel. I got you for three minutes, you freak. Uh, and that obviously is Thrun the Last Troll. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage should have been on the board many, many moons ago. Oh, absolutely. Here's what I have to say uh, about this. If this card didn't cost $13, how many more decks do you think you'd be propagated into? Well, I think we still need to read what the card does. Oh, so correct. So people can understand why it's 13. So creatures you control can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. Basically, all your creatures get hexproof. And then a colorless green regenerate target creature. If this card was two dollars, it'd be in like what every other green deck out there. Why wouldn't it be in all the green decks? Yeah, I mean that, that's that, that's green decks that care about gr green decks that care about creatures. You could put it in a green deck that cares about your commander. It's yeah. just literally one other way to give it hexproof. People put Swiftfoot boots in decks that sure. don't really care about creatures but care about the commanders. So yeah, if this card was two dollars, it would be the. I think it has to be not as frequently printed to keep that price up so it doesn't right. become the next soul ring because this is soul ring because there's zero reason why you wouldn't do, run do it. you feel this is like staple territory i kind of yeah, think so right yeah uh, but don't worry mr combo luckily wizards finally thought about their consumers for once and decided to gift us as one of the 1500 cards that was made into re mystery boosters <laughs> Well, you you know that just definitely tanked the price because I yes. mean, just you everyone was getting one of those, just in every single one at at, at the rare slot, nonetheless. Well, my second one is you could kind of say a backup commander, just because I do have forty two creatures in the deck. Uh, Homeboy likes to protect my creatures from being countered and gives them trample. So, Sirak Dragon Claw. Oh, is I was too. Ah, I was too late to the new thing. No, nope, we're, we're nope. trying a new thing. Yep. So two colorless teamer, green, blue, red, legendary creature, human warrior, mythic. It's a six, six. And I will read this flavor text, uh, but Tuck will read the card. Okay. And we have Vraska, which is the Helen Bomb Connor witch from Harry Potter. Let her rip. I don't like this. It's so easy. Both his rank and his scars were earned in single combat against a cave bear. 
sad. I thought you were gonna go. That was so sad. <laughs> and the sad it's- thing is, I just saw Harry Potter um, in the Order of the Phoenix in live concert. Right. And so I just heard her laughing like a week ago. <laughs> uh, so he is a six-six legendary creature, human warrior uh, that has flash. He can't be countered. Creature spells you can't you control can't be countered, and other creatures you control have trample. So, Oof. actually, sidebar: Is he an auto include in the Gila decks? Perhaps we'll be getting to that at a later date. But Ooh. yes, I think so. I think you have to have them. Like it's so strange the warrior the sets that they have warriors and not right. Yeah, but Sirac he he kind of made a presence in here because a six years ago it's like ooh legendary you're cool throw you yeah. in. Uh, but actually, I think this card actually does a lot for the deck. Um, the fact that you can flash him out, because a lot of it can be, uh, you know, uh, spell on the stack. I'm casting Animar. Someone's like, ah, oh, I'm going to counter spell. And it's like, you know what? Flash in Sirach. You yep. actually can't counter it. I think we're good. Or even I have an Animar. He's a 15-15. I'm going to swing. They think they're going to block with a 1-1 token. Flash in Sirach. I yeah. just dealt 14 command damage. I think the big thing that he does is the flash. If he didn't have yes. flash, he wouldn't be nearly as good. I, I completely agree. And to stack onto that, the trample bit is also really key because creatures not getting countered is okay, right? The meta I play in now is like very little blue is played. So things that prevent countering is becoming le- less and less. But that's so important when you're playing this, especially in Kansas City, which is a much more control base. But the fact that it also gives trample to all your creatures makes it stack up so fast such a solid utility card and like you said in a pinch can be a little bit of a backup commander if you're just mana flooded and just are going to cast the creatures they aren't with paying the iron price absolutely all right tuck give us your last hop this is what i thought you were going to go with because it's one of the few instants that you have in the deck and this is i think this is very cute on your behalf because stubborn denial is a phenomenal, cute. phenomenal counterspell. Sovereign Denial is one blue for an instant. It's a uh, uncommon from Tars of uh, from Cons of Tarkir for about a buck, buck twenty. Counter target creature spell unless its controller pays one. Target non creature spell. Thank you. Unless its controller pays one. Okay, so it's a uh, mana type, or is it? Yeah. Bum bum bum. Ferocious. If you control a creature with power four or greater, counter that spell instead. And there is just a tiny little bit of favorplex, which is going to be your uh, Academy researcher, Sarah Goldfarb, the crazy old lady from Requiem for a Dream. So I think this is the first time I've had to do this one. So let's see if we still got it. Mm. The doctor said I could be skinny again, <laughs> but the teamer said there's no patience for subtlety, Geraldino. <laughs> <laughs> This card, to me, in this deck has no downside because you don't possibly care about creature spells unless they're like some creature board wipe. You're going to be able to outvalue them with all of your massive amounts of creatures. Are going yeah. to be, the things you're going to be worried about are board wipes, potentially counter spells, single targeted removal that can actually target Animar. All yep. of that for one blue that at no point in the game, unless you are absolutely desperate, it's the, the, the first block of text in this deck might as well be blank. Yeah. This is a better swan song in this deck. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hands down. Yeah, 100%. It's able, to, it's able to hit more, and most likely I'm always doing it for a single blue. And, th- and that's been my thing. I can't believe this card's at over a dollar. It's so strong. Like, it's really good in dragon decks, which is where I first saw it. Like, oh, any, of okay. those, any of those tribals that kind of get up into the four or five colors, this is just bonkers in. Um, and the last thing I'll say about this, great target for this that you would probably be wetting yourself when it came down. Uh, and uh, Ugin, the original Ugin, just a board wipe. Oh. Yeah. And this one, like, no, right? Yeah. Swan Song can't do that. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no. No. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the board state and hot profile.